These slides are about changes affecting market equilibrium. And this specific presentation is about changes in demand. A change in demand will take place due to a change in any factor that affects demand except for the price level. The change in demand is illustrated by a shift of the demand curve to the right or a shift of the demand curve to the left. Now what will cause this shift of the demand curve? A change in any factor that influences demand except the price level will result in a shift of the demand curve. So an increase in demand is illustrated by a rightward shift of the demand curve from D to D1 and the decrease in demand is illustrated by a leftward shift of the demand curve from D to D2. So let's look at the factors that can cause an increase in demand. Let's say we're considering the market for tea. Coffee is a substitute for tea. So when the price of coffee increases, the quantity demanded of coffee will decrease and that will result in an increase in demand for its substitute tea. So when the price of a substitute increases, it increases the demand for the product that we are looking at. We can say that milk is a complement for tea. When the price of milk decreases, more milk will be used. And if tea is used with milk, that will also result in an increase in demand for tea. When income levels increase, that will usually result in an increase in demand for most products, most normal products. An increased desire to use a product will result in an increase in demand. For example, if people re realize that tea is very healthy for them, it can result in an increase in demand. An increase in population will result in an increase in demand as there's now more people who can buy the tea. And an expected future increase in the price of a product will also result in an increase in demand um, especially for products that you can keep for a while. So now, while the price is still lower, people may buy more of it because they expect the price to increase. A decrease in demand will then be caused by all the opposite of these factors that can cause an increase in demand. So when the price of substitutes decrease, when the price of complements increase, when the income level decreases, when there's a decreased desire for a product, when there's a decrease in population, and when there's an expected future decrease in the price of a product, those factors will all result in a decrease in demand. You must make sure you're able to explain how a change in each of these factors will influence demand. So a change in demand is illustrated by a shift of the demand curve, while a change in quantity demanded is illustrated by a movement along a specific demand curve. So here we have a shift of the demand curve, here we have a movement along a demand curve. So a change in quantity demanded, in other words, a movement along a demand curve, can only be caused by a change in the price of a product, while a change in demand can be caused by all the other factors that affects demand except for the price. So a change in the price of substitutes, of complements, an income level change, a change in the desire for a product, a change in population and an expected future change in the price of a product. All of these can cause a change in demand 
for a shift of the demand curve, while a change in the price of a product only ch cause a change in the quantity demanded, which we will illustrate it, which we will illustrate by movement along a specific demand curve.